Hey, my lovelies, Nicole here from MG Studio. I want to talk to you guys today about two products that we have, the Chia Seed Oil and the Hair Pomade. Both of these two do work hand in hand together. However, some of you guys don't need to use both of them together. It is around this time where most of you guys should start using it now. Um, I know some people, they don't need to use it all the time and there are some that does need to use them all the time either way this is the time that you need to be using it it's winter and your hair needs it however i am also noticing that a lot of you guys are using both of these products improperly so i want to come to you guys today to show you how to properly use both the chia seed oil and the hair pomade one thing that you guys need to know about all of our products, especially these two, is that they are very concentrated. So you don't need to use a whole lot into your hair. We're gonna start with the chia seed oil. So the chia seed oil, you can use this in so many uses, like I've said before. Um, if your hairstylist has it, they probably use it in a hot oil treatment, which I love to do all the time. Um, but I also recommend my clients to use this at night and here every, every night. Now here's the thing. You don't need to use a whole lot. Like I said before, a whole lot, meaning that you don't need to pour it and fill your whole hand up with it. Okay. Um, and you, you just don't need to excessively use a lot of it. Okay. At nighttime, no matter if you are wrapping your hair, if you are pin curling your hair, rolling up, whatever it is you do at night, you only need a few drops. Before you put those drops in, one thing that you definitely want to do is you want to shake the chia seed oil up really good. Every time you pick up this bottle, you want to shake it up. The reason being is because there is hibiscus extract in there, okay? The hibiscus extract is a water-based extract, which of course we all know that water and oil do not blend. We don't have a lot of fillers in, in our products, and so it doesn't mesh together. You wanna shake it up real good because you wanna make sure that you have the hibiscus into your hair and scalp as well. So once you shake it up real good, and I'm not sure if you guys can see this because the lighting is in, but you only want really on an average head about a dime size, no more than a nickel size. So people that have very thick hair, density is extremely high, long hair you might want to use a nickel size okay however everybody else you only need about a dime size a dime size is about and i hope you guys can see this one two three four no more than four drops is all you need now i like to put this on the scalp work my way down instead of putting it on the hair working your way up okay and the reason being is because as soon as we touch our hair wherever we touch first that's where most of the oil is going to go so you want to be careful start with the scalp work your way down rub it in your hands really good okay use your fingertips so most of the product should be on the palm of your hands okay you're going to use your fingertips to apply and all you're going to do is go through your scalp and you're gonna massage it all the way through, okay? And then use more. You have more on your scalp, I mean on your palms, and you're gonna massage it all the way through and the back. When you're done, once you're, you've gotten all the way around, take whatever's left in your hand, then you can go ahead and you can massage in your hand. So if you're wrapping, sometimes what I like to do is, um, is to tell people to keep the rest of the access onto your hands, Go ahead, wrap your hair. When you're done wrapping your hair, then take your hand and smooth it around, okay? Then you can put your scarf on and you're good. Now, every night, you only need about that much. Sometimes, for some people, you need less than that. One drop is okay because you don't want to put too much oil on your hair. Yeah, after a while, I don't care what product it is. I don't care if, it is, if it's even MG Studio. Having too much oil on your hair can clog your pores and it can um, clog your, your hair shaft as well, which is not healthy for the hair. And I get it. Some of us is naturally dry. 
um, and we need more oil on our hair and that's good but you want to know that balance how to get that balance ask your hairstylist your hairstylist knows your hair knows your scalp and they will be able to tell you where your balance is if not you can always email us at info at mgstudiosalon.com or you can reach out to us on any of our social media platforms and we would be more than happy to have you come in to get a consultation so that we could tell you better on how to um, properly use the oil on your hair or we could do a virtual consultation as well okay now same thing with the hair pomade the hair pomade again you don't need a whole lot i've seen this plenty of times to where people have used too much on their scalp and their hair and i tell you it could be the hardest thing to get out of your hair when you have too much oil on your hair it, it's oh don't do that okay so i'm gonna tell you what you can do as y'all can tell that bothers me you want to part your hair with the comb into four sections. So one down the middle, right? And then you part ear to ear, okay? So you will have your four sections. For each parting, so you got two partings that you did, one going to back, front, front to back, and then ear to ear. You only need, again, trying to see if you can scoop this is about a dime to a nickel size okay which kind of looks like that I don't know if you guys can see that okay and all you need to do is take it and you glide it down the shaft and sometimes you'll have some left over to where you could do half up half of the uh, second part Okay, and you just do a little bit more on the other part. When you're done, you're going to use the same, you're going to get the same amount for two other sections. Because again, now you can use this amount for two full sections because they're half. You're going to part it in a diagonal. Okay, so you got your midpoint here. Point it, uh, part, make your parting diagonal right at the peak of your eyebrow. Okay, and part that there. Now, again, if you have thick hair um, and you and your sections are naturally wider than what they should be, go ahead and part another one at a diagonal. So from the uh, point, the top of your head, down to right in front of your ear, okay? And just part there. And then you're gonna apply it right in those shafts. And you're gonna do it for each section. When you're done, you're gonna go ahead and massage it all the way through, okay? And yes, you are going to brush your hair. Brushing your hair will help move all those nice oils onto your scalp and onto your hair. Then you can wrap your hair, you can um, pin curl your hair or roll your hair, whatever it is that you do at night, twist it, whatever it is that you need to do. Then you can go ahead and you can proceed to the next step of um, pinning your hair up and tying it up at night. Now, the hair oil, the uh, hair treatment, this hair pomade, you do not need to do every day. This is something you do not do. You could do this once a week. Um, talk to your hairstylist and see what he or she says that, you know, how many times you need to, to use this. Me personally, I tell my clients, you only need to do this once a week. So if my client comes in every other week, they only need to do it on that one visit that they do not see me. That's the week that they do it on, and it will keep your scalp good. For those that have um, dandruff, um, very bad, talk to your stylist to see if this, um, if the hair pomade is right for your scalp. For some of my clients, it's not right for my scalp, and I have them do it with the raw honey, and the raw honey does well. The chia seed oil usually works for everybody which is really good unless you just have naturally oily hair then you don't want to of course use the chia seed oil the only time i say that you can um be excessive on the chia seed oil is if you 
are having a flexi rod set, any type of pair set, and you want to get those defined curls that you created with the um, with the rods to do so with it. If you have naturally curly hair and your hair is dry and you need it, then yes, you do need a little bit more on that. That's another uh, video for that, for natural curly hair. But for those that wear their hair, you know, flat iron, uh, real pretty curls, you know, use the irons and it's straight. You don't need a whole lot with this, okay? So I hope this helped you guys. I hope you guys are using this properly. And again, you can find both of these products on our website at mgstudiosalon.com. Stylist, if you guys are watching this and you want this in your collection, you can uh, reach out to our local distributor. She will make sure that she gets this for you guys. And continue to uh, follow us on all of our social media platforms. If you have any questions, again, you can contact us at info at mgstudiosalon.com and you can make your appointment online and purchase the products. Until then, continue to feed your hair. Remember, as long as you love your hair, your hair will definitely love you back.